Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. It's the first video of 2021. Happy New Year's, everyone. Let's continue to try and make 2021 better than the previous year, huh? <laughs> Alright, so today's video, we're going to start off by talking about this month in Dragalia Lost. Um, it comes out every year, so we're gonna, I'm going to talk about it, read it, give some thoughts on it. And if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment about how you feel about this month in Dragalia, um, and subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. How could I forget that you should subscribe to me? Anyway, I forget that you should subscribe to me, so hey, who knows. Uh, let's start with this. I'd like to begin my first monthly message of 2021 by wishing you all the best in the new year. As I reflect on the past and look forward to what's ahead, I am reminded that 2020 was a year of tonic shifts and great struggles for many of us around the world. The Dragalia Lost team has dealt with many struggles of our own, but we have and will continue to work on developing the game while ensuring that we maintain the health and safety of everyone involved. Likewise, I speak for all of us when I say that our sincere wish that our players stay happy and healthy into the new year and beyond. That's nice. And then they talk about... Um... Cursed Connections, talk a little bit about the roster, are you enjoying the event? Part 1 Showcase, currently up with Seimei and Gozu Tenno. And then Part 2 will have um, Yoshitsune, I was trying to remember how to pronounce her name. <laughs> Dang Japanese names, man, I need to learn them. Um, if you didn't know this, because I didn't know this until someone brought it up, so the 7 uh, Daily Free Tenfolds are actually split between part one and part two so i think they end pretty soon and um yeah then this will start with her so there will also be a second daily free tenfold summon event that will allow you to perform a tenfold summon on the cursed connections part two showcase for free once ever for three days this showcase will feature another member of the 12 warm clients yoshitsune yeah um yeah so so this one should have four, and then she should have three, which makes sense, because I would gladly spend all seven on free for her if I could. So, let's move on. Plans for this month, the Curse Connection Raid event will be followed by a Coliseum event. This event will be similar in style to Onslaught events and defensive battles, but it will give players a chance to test their might against Hinamoto's best fighters in gladiatorial combat. It's not all about conflict though, as players will also be able to learn more about the stories behind the various Hinamoden competitors. I wonder if that means there's going to be new Hinamoden people? Or maybe this is their way of being able to do another Hinamoto banner? Featuring some of the older ones? I wonder how they're going to do it. We have plenty of them for sure, for there to be plenty of fights. But maybe this is another way for them to kind of sneak in, you know, hit them, some more hit Emoden dudes before we hit the, the year end. Um, a high difficulty quest involving Morissetti will be, I don't know if I pronounced that name right, will be added in mid-January. Players who overcome, overcome this challenge will be able to earn materials for upgrading facilities that boost adventurers of certain elements or weapon types, and items that augment dragons. Please note that this quest may not be attempted until you have viewed the epilogue for the Forgotten Troops event in the event compendium. In addition, it has been designed to challenge teams of a very high might but is not quite as difficult as the Legends difficulty of the Agito Uprising. Nor does it require that only adventurers of a specific element be- so it's going to be cheese to hell. That's basically- and to be fair, even if it was only elements, it would still find a way to be cheese. You can still use- the GameCube bunnies, um, GNC, even if they're, um, whatever, you get what I'm saying. Uh, an interlude will be added to Chapter 17 of the main campaign. Scars in the Syndicate Raid event will be coming in late January. You'll have a chance to get Alfred, all dread, to the team. I love the Scars of the Syndicate. Um, I like the events. I like the music, too. The song for Scars of the Syndicate is maybe one of my favorite tracks. If it wasn't for... Forgotten Troops, this would have been my favorite song of the year, I think, for Scars of the Syndicate. Followed, I think, probably with, with Princess Connect, but who knows. Uh, Cursed Archive Facility Event will be added to Event Compendium in late January. The Legends difficulty for Kaigan's Wrath and the Yagito Uprising will be added. As with Volk's Wrath Legend, the quest will, provide, will be quite challenging, so please look forward to that. 
Future updates, okay. As mentioned in last month's installment of This Month in Dragalia Lost, we will be announcing further details about an upcoming event live in early January, so please stay tuned. We will continue to regularly update the main campaigns with new story chapters, but starting with chapter 18, these chapters will be split into two parts, each releasing monthly. Part 1 of chapter 18 will be released in February, and part 2 will be released in March. Chapter 19 and beyond will follow the schedule accordingly. As the prince navigates an unexplored land to the north, he comes closer and closer to what he has sought for so long. New bosses to follow the Agito Uprising will be released starting around March. These bosses aren't just fresh new faces, they also bring fresh new gameplay mechanics to the table, so be sure to keep your skills sharp. <sighs> Though it's a bit early to be discussing the next Dragalia Digest in detail, we do plan to continue using it to communicate major announcements every six months. The upcoming episode is in late March, we'll cover a special event. Here's a hint to, uh, to tide, your, tide you over. Players will be able to enjoy this event even more if they have played the main campaign and Fractured Featured and Forgotten Troops raid events in the event compendium. In conclusion, I hope that the first installment of this month of Jugalia Lost for the year 2021 has helped you start it off right. <laughs> has helped you start it off right and I, along with the rest of the team who works so hard to bring the Jugalia Lost game to life. Look forward to continuing our journey with you well into this year and beyond. In closing, we're giving all players the following items this month. Three sunlight orbs, or Damiscus crystals, exquisite honey times 30, and 10, 10 million rupees. Alright, see you next month. Okay, so March is in January. February, March. That's two months from now is the next Dragalia Digest. And then six months from that is one, two, three, four, five. It's September when it would be the anniversary. Okay. Sure. So that would mean one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Obviously, we have no hints about what's going to be coming in in January. All we know is what we see in the data mines, which is now and now seem very much so that that is actually what is happening. I'm not mentioning what we're in the data mines, just to say, uh, just so if someone wants to be excited about what could potentially be shown in early January, they can stay excited then. Um, I probably won't have be as excited. I'll tell you right now, all my excitement showed up right when I saw the news and I said, hey, these guys look like they could be coming because they're in the data mines. And I said, what? I'm not summoning anymore. So that was my specific reaction. And you can look to see what that means in your own case, I guess. I won't, again, I won't say it just in case you don't want to be spoiled on what it is. Um, but hopefully that gets announced in early January. I sure as hell hope that's what's announced because they can't keep delaying it. I really wish they don't delay it. Um, but hey, we'll see. We'll, I'll come back to you in early January. But that's this month in Jagalia Lost. Pretty simple month for January um, as we start 2021. Um, a good amount of. Actually, I don't know. There is a new event. I was about to say it's mostly reruns, but it's actually one, one rerun, one event compendium thing, and the rest are new stuff. How new this specific Colosseum event is going to be, we'll have to wait and see. Um, could be cool, though. Could be cool. But yeah, I think that's that's it for this month in Dragalia Lost. Once again, if you want to tell me what you feel, feel free to leave a comment. Um, like this video if you ended up liking it. Um, and have a happy new year, everyone. You know? Um, I look forward... I thank you very much for... If you made it this far, then let me tell you. If you made it this far, I know you're a real one. Thank you very much for sticking with me this long. Um, I appreciate it a whole bunch. You never know how m you'll never know exactly how much I I appreciate it, just because I never feel like I can ever correctly show it off. But if the day ever comes when I can, you'll definitely know it. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Goodbye. <laughs>